Hey everybody, today's project is this DIY buffet table with fluted front doors that we made for the space behind our kitchen table. We love the design on this. It's elegant and beautiful, and we are gonna show you how we made it right here. And you can get the free plans at the end. We started out by using the Craig Straight Edge Guide to cut down all of our plywood pieces. For this project, we used three quarter inch oak plywood that we got at the hardware store. The Craig Straight Edge Guide was perfect for cutting down this long piece of plywood, not having to try to push it through a table saw or anything like that. Once all the pieces were cut, we used our Craig 720 Pro pocket hole jig to drill the pocket holes in all the places necessary to assemble this table. This included the shelves and the sides and even the back of the thing. We wanted to have lots of pocket holes for sturdiness and then it was time to put it together. We started by assembling the box frame itself. This was wood glue and pocket hole screws into the sides. We attached each of the two sides first into the bottom board and then brought in the top. The top board was attached the same way with glue and pocket hole screws. We made sure that everything was at a right angle and even, and then we added our support boards in the middle and our shelves on the sides. We also had a backer for this buffet table. This was half inch plywood that we attached in the back with pocket hole screws. After everything was put together, we added edge banding to all of the front pieces of plywood. We didn't want that plywood look because we were going for an upscale piece of furniture. So we added edge banding. This is as simple as using an iron to attach it to the frame of the table. Once the edge banding was on and dried, we used walrus oil to oil the entire thing down. This really brought out the color and the grain of the oak plywood and made it look really, really nice. Once the box was completely done, we started building some actual boxes. These were the drawer boxes. These are easy to put together with butt joints for pocket hole screws. We built two drawers to go in the middle of this buffet table, and then we put together two cabinet doors for the sides. To build those doors, we just cut down squares of plywood and then added quarter inch plywood trim around the outside. We used our fancy wood glue spreading tool, AKA my pointer finger, and put those around the edge of the plywood. Now it's time to do the fluted front. We built a little jig to make sure all of the dowels were cut at the exact same length. We cut a bunch of dowels down using our miter saw and got them ready to attach to all the drawer fronts and door fronts of the buffet table. With the wood inside the trim on all of the drawer fronts and door fronts, we attached all of the dowels. This makes the fluted front. Let's just say there were a lot of dowels that had to be cut for this project, and snapping them all into place took a bit of time. Once the dowels were hardened into place and everything was ready to go, we needed to add some hinge holes. We used the Craig hinge guide to attach the hinges for our two doors. This is a really simple tool for drilling hinge holes exactly where you need them to go on your cabinet doors. It even allows you to drill in a little spot for the nails to go in so that there's no cracking or anything on your door. Simply follow the guide and the instructions and it'll drill you a perfect hole every single time. All right, finally, the table itself is done, the drawer boxes were done, and the door fronts were done. So now it's time to do final assembly and get this thing ready to go. We used Craig drawer slide jigs to hold up our drawers while we were installing them. It's worked really, really well and helps make sure everything stays in place. We attached the doors on our slow close hinges and then added a nice little bit of hardware on those after attaching the drawer fronts. Drawer fronts are easy to attach. You use wood glue and nails to put those in place. A lot of times you build them without a drawer front because it's just simpler to make sure that the drawer box goes exactly where you need to, and then you put it all together. What do you think of this buffet table? It is awesome. We absolutely love how this looks. It's elegant and modern and has a lot of cool features. The fluted front really gives it a lot of character. 
and the two-tone look is really nice. If you want to get the free plans to build this buffet table for yourself, check out charlestoncrafted.com.